spina bifida is the burst defect where the spine is protruding from the body. Although these muscles are weaker, so they are less mobile. Stroke is blood clots in the brain and causes the bleeding to no movement. So stroke is a muscle disease that weakens the muscles that live in the human body. Multiple sclerosis is a disease that affects the brain and spinal cord resulting in, in the loss of muscle control. We are the Johnson Dragons from Johnson, Iowa. Our problem is how to assist people of all ages with lower limb disability, dis dysfunction and disability uh, the, and, and aren't physically um, independent. Impact of problem, it, uh, more, uh, more costs more money at nursery, nursery homes, um, um, nursery homes, um, hardship on family, emotionally upsetting, on others and can do what others can do. The internet websites we use for research is Lockheed Martin to research the Hulk, Berkeley Bionics to research e-legs, the Iowa Department on Aging, and Discovery Health, what if people had exoskeletons. An expert in the field, Diane Larson from Visiting Nurse Service, Nurses Services or VNS came to visit us. They are, have the same goal as us, to keep people independent and living in their own homes. She told us she thought that it was better for someone to live in their own home because it was cheaper and people lived longer, happier, and healthier lives in their own homes. Our team researched different fields of biomedical engineering to see what we were most interested in. We are interested in mechatronics. Our research was focused on mobility issues, including paraplegia. We researched the current military exoskeleton Lockheed Martin Hulk. Our team had each member go home and research two problems that they thought went well with the subject. We then voted on which was our favorite. Um, lists of existing solutions to mobility problems include crutches, canes, walkers, grab cars, wheelchairs, Home adaptations like ramps and vehicle adaptations, uh, theories on mobility problems are uh, mind control wheelchairs that can go up and down stairs, uh, super socks, and then exoskeletons. And of those three, we voted on which we thought was the best, and we voted on the exoskeleton. Um, we named our innovative solution the HAMA which stands for Human Universal Mobility Apparatus. HUMA is an exoskeleton for people with lower limb disabilities to aid their movement. Berkeley Bionics recently released an exoskeleton called the E-Legs. The E-Legs are only for paraplegics and are, strictly, are currently strictly used in rehab facilities. The HUMA is more innovative than the E-Legs because it enhances movement, it is untethered, it has a, instead of a backpack, it has a battery pack around the waist. It has a computer chip in the battery pack. It's adjustable and has two sizes. The HUMA will keep people out of nursing homes, lowering the cost, and the insurance will pay for them. But we found out that people are, are happier, healthier, and live longer lives when they are in their own homes, and they are also more independent. We brought more awareness to First Lego League by raising funds for the team at Pizza Ranch. We also shared at Easter Seals. We shared with them because they are helping people with the same, the same problems that we are focused on. We created a YouTube video of our presentation to share with Lockheed Martin and Berkeley Bionics. Um, we also make sure that someone will develop the Thank you for listening to our presentation. If you have questions,